When we're talking about the standard American accent, the resonance is right in the middle of the mouth. However, quite different when we're talking with a Cockney accent. The Cockney resonance is in the rear of the mouth, it is. That's right. Keep the lower lip kind of loose and the lips are close together. The tongue is down low. Remember that. Let's start with vowel substitutions. The E sound, as in feet and reach. You're gonna put an uh in front of the E sound. Feet, reach. The O sound also gets an A in front of it. Gloomy, proof, become gloomy, proof. The long A sound, as in neighbor and great, get the I sound. He's a great neighbor, he is. The I sound gets turned into the oi sound. Get that bright light out of my face or I'm gonna fight you. Hey, get the bright light out of my face or I'm gonna fight you. The O sound gets changed to the ow sound. The broken token couldn't pay for the lotion. There ain't no way the broken token can pay for the lotion. Great. Remember, Keep the tongue back and down and keep the lips rounded. The ah sound becomes the ah sound. For instance, opera. I ain't going to no opera. Obstinate. Obstinance. Opposite. Opposite. If the standard American English sound is an ah, just punch that ah even harder. For instance, the cat crawled across the lawn. That little cat crawled across the lawn and did. The R sound is replaced with the uh sound and it gets the downward lilt. Like the player, the runner. That player ain't no runner. The medial R gets the uh sound. My name's Herman and I'm the first one there. My name's Herman. I'm the first one there. If the R sound follows the or sound, like more and sure, just drop the R. I want some more, for sure. The AR sound, like sergeant and car, become I ain't saluting a sergeant. You don't even drive a nice car. The ear sound is a fun one. You drop the R, but add an uh in there. Beer and cheer become I'm gonna grab a beer and cheer for my team. The air sound gets the AS sound, like wear and care. Uh-uh, I don't care. I ain't gonna wear that. The oor sound gets the oor sound. Poor. Oh, you poor thing. If the R is at the end of the word and the next word starts with a vowel, you just kind of add the R onto the next word. For instance, the car is. The car is. And sometimes when you have a word that ends with a vowel, preceded by a word that starts with a vowel, you throw an R in there. They do that with a Boston accent, too. I saw it is going to become... I saw it. In general, keep the H silent. For example, Harry is happy on Halloween. Harry is happy on Halloween. And you could play around with the silent H and alter it a bit. For instance, if you have an H at the beginning of a word and it's preceded by a vowel, you can add a Y. So I hasten is going to become I hasten. Instead of a Y, try replacing it with a W. I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm so hungry. Here's yet another alternative. If you got that H at the beginning of your word, happy, and you got a consonant at the end of the word that precedes it, just take that consonant and blend that into the word in place of the H. For instance, he's happy. That fella, he's so happy. The medial L changes to a W sound when it follows a vowel, but not when it's between two vowels. For example, boulder and soldier. I can lift that boulder. I ain't gonna be no soldier. But not color. Color. If the ending L in a word is followed by a vowel in the next word, then don't replace the L with the W. For instance, tell it to the shell or I won't reward you. Just stays. Tell it to the shell or I won't reward you. The glottal stop is always a blast. 
you hear it in the Scottish accent. You replace that medial T with kind of an uh-oh sound. Little and later are going to be little, lighter. For ing words, just take away that G. Running, playing, dancing. I'm running, playing, dancing. For the medial and terminal voiced TH, you're going to replace it with a V. It's a smooth move to soothe the beast. It's a smooth move to soothe the beast, it is. For the medial and terminal voiceless TH, you're going to replace it with an F. Bath, wrath, tooth. I'm going to take a bath. You're going to feel my wrath. I got a sore tooth. There it is. It doesn't get much more fun than playing with a Cockney accent. To do more research, definitely read the 1913 play Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. Or watch the movie My Fair Lady, Audrey Hepburn and Rex Harrison, two contrasting accents, the Cockney versus the upper class British accent. And Audrey is something special she is. Subscribe. Make a comment. Like the video. I love you. So do I.